Julia. I'm Arielle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So how you came in today, is there anything you would like to be called by, or is Julia fine? Oh, Julia's fine. Okay, good. Well, I just want to let you know everything that we talk about today will be kept confidential unless I feel it may pose a threat to you or other people, but anything I have to say, it will be for your safety only. But besides that, it will be confidential. Okay? okay? That's fine. Okay, so tell me, what brings you in today? Well, I'm having some marital problems, I guess. Um, my husband and I, we've been married for a while, we've got two kids, and he's in the Army, and he just got back from, the, um, from serving overseas in the Iraqi war, and it's just been completely different since he's got back, and I just don't even know where to start to try and fix it. So I'm hearing your husband just recently got back from serving the war, and he's not how he was before he got departed, exactly. before he left. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, what things are different about the relationship for him in general? What's different? So before he left, you know, obviously we were like a happy married couple, and he always did like his army things, but he had just never gone overseas before. And he's a great father, like an awesome family man. And now that he's back, it's just he doesn't talk to me about anything. And we've always been so open, so it's so frustrating because it's like I'm trying to talk to a brick wall. And even when, you know, he'll make plans with my kids or my kids will ask me to do things, and then when the time comes to actually like do those things, he'll just say he's too tired or he doesn't feel well. Or if they ask him like go outside and play catch, which is like something they always do before, right. he'll just say like tomorrow, tomorrow. But then it never actually happens. So I'm like, obviously my kids are upset, and I don't know what's going on with my husband, and then I'm upset, and it's just a mess. So I'm hearing your husband has kind of distanced himself not only from you, but the children as well. Mm -hmm, exactly. A lot of times, too, when we're at dinner, it's like he's talking to us, but it's just like he's talking to kind of like get through dinner. Like he's not really speaking. He's just saying what he needs to say to make it like not so awkward. So it seems that he's just going through the motions. Exactly. Now, have you talked to him about the way you are feeling or how you feel things have changed since he's gotten back? I tried to talk to him a couple of times. You know, I've asked him, like, what's wrong, if there's anything I can do. And he just says, like, there's nothing wrong and everything's going to be fine. And he doesn't want to talk about it. And then he just tells me, like, that I don't understand. Well, I don't understand because he's not telling me. Which is kind of like. Yeah, um, this is really a typical thing with those who come back from the war. Have you heard of post-traumatic distress disorder? Yes, I have heard of that. Okay, well, has his doctor diagnosed him with PTSD or, like, since he's having difficulties getting back into uh, the regular lifestyle? No, he hasn't even really gone to see the doctor. I know that they, like, checked him when he came back, but he hasn't gone to, like, anyone to speak. I don't know if he's even before that. I haven't okay. mentioned it before. And when you talk to him about the way you're feeling about things, how does he react when you tell him you feel he's different? I know that he feels bad because he can tell that I'm upset, but at the same time he's not really doing anything to fix it, so I can't tell if like, he's upset about it too or if he's just hoping it's going to go away. Like I know he wants me to be happy, but he's just not changing the way he's acting. Does your husband have any outside friends, maybe some buddies from high school or other people he can talk to besides you? Does he have any other confidants? I mean, he does have a lot of friends, and I mean, we're, we've got like a nice big family that he's always talked to, but he doesn't really like going to like family events. And okay. a lot of times when he's done like the whole army thing, a lot of him and like his army buddies, like they stay in contact, but he hasn't really been like going out the way he used. Like going to ball games, like going out to get a beer with his friends. He's okay. really done that. What I'm hearing is your husband is having a very hard time reintegrating into the regular lifestyle and back into society. So um, I want to say make us some goals and some homework to get to these different steps that can possibly help him get back to his regular way of life. Okay. Now, some goals for us to do. Let's say we want your husband to communicate with you more. Exactly. I would love that. Okay. A 
okay, I'll say better communication with you and the children as well? Yes. Okay. Um, what do you believe should be another goal? What did, what did you want to see for your husband? Um, I just, you know, I wish that we could go back to how we, you know, we would always have a date night once a week. Yeah. And talk about kind of like, well, we always have dinner as a family every night, but it was nice because she would always like take me out and we haven't done that since we've gotten back. And that was always our time together to like catch up. But it feels like we just like only talk about it. So maybe if we could get back to like some of our normal routines. Okay. Yeah. So get back into a normal routine. Mm -hmm. Our goal for right now for our steps. Um, maybe another thing, a goal for your husband is to maybe kind of work out these past three he had from serving in the war, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's say maybe recover from that trauma of the things he's seen. Okay. Okay. Now. To get to these goals, we'll set up some homework for the next week or so until I see you again. Okay. So, for our homework, for our better communication skills um, with you and your children, would you say maybe we can have your husband come in? Because I recall you saying you don't know how sure he will be about seeing a doctor and getting checked out for PTSD. Maybe if he came in and had a session with us and talked, he would feel more open about that? Mm -hmm. I think he would, especially because you and I are just that big doctor, but he would understand like, why I'm frustrated. Okay, so let's say the homework can be for you to talk to him and get him to come to the next session. Okay. Okay. To get back into our normal ways, maybe as some interventions, we can do some family counseling that can help with you and him and the children to get back into that flow of life and how family life was beforehand, maybe? That sounds good. Yeah. Okay, maybe some family counseling, family group sessions. And let's see if we can, for me, my third part will be my homework. I'll get in contact with some doctors. So maybe when you come in and we can get them to think about the idea, I can have a couple of options for him. Okay, that sounds okay. good. Because okay. I just don't know what to do, but if you know people, that would definitely help. I can definitely help with that. So I think this is good for our first meeting. This is a good task for us to start with now, and we can reschedule a meeting for next week. And as this, in the meantime, in between time, we'll work over this together. And if you need me, you can call me, and we'll try to get this, get okay. this done for the next time. So how does that feel? That feels good to me. <laughs> okay. A lot better. Good. Well, I'm glad you're doing this. I'm glad you took the initiative to come out. It seems like you really care, and it's good that your husband has someone like me who truly cares about what's going on with him, so you. that's good. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming in, and thank I'll you. see you next week. Thank you for meeting with me. Okay.